Hello Scorpio, welcome to Reading Journey. I'm Journey, I'm doing a reading for the sun, moon, rising signs of Scorpio. Scorpio, this is where you will find your reading every Thursday. If you want more exclusive content, you can click the link in the description box below to take it to my Patreon channel. Let's get into it. So, we are using the Panther Oracle deck and we're using the Oracle, sorry, the Rose Oracle. All right, my loves, let's get into it. And I apologize for the noise in the background. I decided I wanted to do laundry and guess who's closest to the laundry room? Yep, you guessed it. All right, let's see, my love. Okay. Give me one moment. Let me just put this all together if you wouldn't mind, Scorpio. All right, so Scorpio, this looks like to me, the overall energy for you is giving back, is caring about people. Maybe you're doing a lot of caring, a lot of sharing, a lot of love, a lot of giving at this particular time. Don't over give because you're going to find yourself worn out. You might come down with some type of virus um, that can lower our immune systems when we're stressed out. So it looks like you could get a little bit overwhelmed here. It looks like you're going to have quite a busy uh, week ahead here. So be aware of that. Try to get as much rest as you can. Boost your vitamin C up. Boost up your antioxidants and try to get your immune system ready for this. Um, and drink plenty of water. Make sure you're... Um, uh, and make sure you're getting the balance you need. If it's taking a spiritual bath for 20 minutes, um, balance out your chakras, you can do that too by not only taking a bath for 20 minutes, salt bath, but you can also, if you can stand it, I can't do them. Cool showers for three minutes will reset you as well. Make sure you're getting plenty of rest because I do see that coming up for the week ahead. So definitely, I didn't even see this card here, readiness. So yeah, being ready. Preparing is what I'm really focused on here. So being ready, making a ranger for yourself to uh, maybe even schedule out the week. Um, letting people know that this is a week where you're going to be kind of a lot is going to be on your plate. And just being honest about that. Not trying to be everything to everybody. Because a lot of people and a lot of things are going to have your attention during this time. So even here we've got calm. I love it when a reading flows together. So definitely having that inner peace, meditating, taking time for yourself is very important. These these key, these cards flow quite beautifully together, all of them actually. So I do see a lot of um, your energy being given and drained away a little bit this week, but not in a bad way. It's just more of a lot of more things call your attention there could be a lot of activities events even going on at this time or just people just pulling you in different directions needing you but you have to remember to keep yourself at a balance because definitely like i said you can find yourself not feeling too hot on this particular at this particular time um your reading is pretty straightforward. Let's see if there's anything else. Anything else we can tell them? Because that was just really quick. Anything else? Is there anything else we have them that we can share with Scorpio? I'll take three more cards, please. Three more cards, please. Yeah, see, <laughs> again, he's being pulled in different ways here. I see him as being pulled. So you may have to let people know, hey, this week you're going to have to understand that I'm taking, you know, I'm taking some time. I, I'm not going to be available for everyone at this particular time. It could have been love, involved with somebody who loves you. Somebody who loves you may need you more or may even find themselves being a little jealous this week. Um, somebody close to you. Okay doesn't have to be a lover, but just a lover. It can be also um, a family member or somebody who really tight to you, feels like they're a friend. Uh, let's see. Seven, ten, eight. But something also 
It's meant to happen this week. So that could be why you're being, oh, okay, this kind of making sense. This is why you're being pulled into so many directions. Um, I feel like somebody is about to either meet a partner um, or something is going to go to a next level with a partner. It could even be in a career as well. Somebody, so there's some type of energy is is hating and there's a hater energy coming through that's gonna intercept somebody but and it doesn't matter though honestly but this is why you're being pulled in so many directions because and it's not energy in just that word one person because you got it from all directions but this energy itself just a test right we're always being tested in life as a part of our growth so this is but you're about to someone is going to meet their life partner or and or there's some of you who are going to meet your life career or speed on go on to your life path when i say life career meaning that this is the career that you want to do or you're walking into the whatever you came here to do in this lifetime something that really makes you happy or something could last at least 10 years but it's something that you really love so there's something good coming through all of this this is why you're being pulled in all directions because you're being tested to see which one are you going to take. But you're going to smoothly pass this. I This is going to be really easy for you. It really is. Because even if, let's just say, you do go through this and you get a little tired or you find yourself getting maybe, you know, maybe I'm coming out with a little cold or something like that. It doesn't matter because still whatever is supposed to happen, I'm hearing it's destiny. Destiny is going to happen. It's going to happen. You're going to pass this anyway. You're just going to because you've grown so much because I saw a number of growth in here somewhere. Where was it? I can't remember. Something I saw that mentioned growth to me. But I feel like you've grown so much that this really isn't going to be a big deal for whoever this is. But just do know that you're going to be pulled in different directions. And something that is supposed to happen is going to happen. And it depends on your, the karma of the person. If you put out a lot of good karma, a good good whatever is going to come to you okay it's it, it's fate it's a part of your path um and some of you are going to meet your internal love someone and then i say someone it may be like one person the rest of you it whatever the fate is for you that's what's going to happen if you put out a lot of good karma good things well whatever's coming to you is going to be good if a lot of things were put out well then what's going to come back is not going to be so good okay whether it's somebody you know you or whatever it is okay but again scorpio for the most part you look good it doesn't look like it's just be aware and be ready have your like i said your vitamin c if you've been working out keep working out get your you know get your strength up because something is going to this energy is going to come to break you down a little bit or at least try all right. So I hope you found this helpful. Thank you so much for watching. If you did, click that like button, hit subscribe, follow if you're watching me on the podcast. If you want to know more about me, you can check out the description box below. Also, if you want more exclusive content, you can click on the Patreon page and I will see you next Thursday. Every Thursday is where you will find me. Bye-bye.